Hey guys, 27 Tim here. Um, just had my second tournament of 2014, the first ever Estabrook Open, hosted by Pandemonium Discs. Um, it was a great tournament. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, unfortunately, I had a bummer first round. I played four over. Was a little frustrated. Wasn't making pots. I think I had two birdies and I had six bogeys, and um, I ended up making a bogey from. Let's see, I missed I missed a par putt from about eight feet. Um, it was kind of one of those odd ones. It hit the chains, sat on the rim of the basket, and then flipped over. And after that, I was just kind of like down because I'd been playing really well, and I was like one under at that point. Um, I got myself to even with that bogey, and then from there I went birdie, bogey, 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 par bogey. So I was a little disappointed with that, made a lot of bogeys, kind of quit on the uh, first round, and I don't know, I, it wasn't very, I guess, wise of me to do, um, so I had to make up a lot of work second round. Um, so I had a good lunch, came back, and uh, crushed the cores, played four under. Uh, it was one of the lower scores for the day in uh, recreational. This is my first recreational event. I've been playing juniors ever since I started, so... Um, I'm still a junior, but I figured I needed to move up, and uh, I ended up tying for fourth, uh, which wasn't horrible. Played even par for the day. Um, the guy who won it, uh, I won't say too much, but I think he was sandbagging. <laughs> he shot 10 down, and uh, he he's an intermediate player. He was definitely sandbagging. and uh, It is what it is. Um, the guy who took second shot two down, the guy who took third shot one down, so I was pretty close. Um, I can't be too hard on myself, nerves were going because it was my first um, recreational event. There's 27 guys there, so a fourth place finish is fine with me, I, I was sorry. Um, I'd switched my, I was between my magnets and my AVRs for the past week and a half. I wasn't sure which ones I wanted to use, I didn't feel like I was very confident with the KCs. But as soon as I put the magnets back in my bag, I did not feel like I was ready to use them again. So I was in a, a kind of a hard spot. So I ended up playing with the KC AVRs. Um, first round, I definitely was getting frustrated because they weren't working for me. Second round, I was able to put some putts in from outside the circle, inside the circle. Um, I missed, I think, one easy one, but I mean, that'll happen each round. Um, I don't know. Uh, with the winnings I got, I uh, I wanted to try something new, so I got this Pandemonium JK AVR. Um, so I've been throwing the KC AVRs, which are a little stiffer. This is a little gummier. Um, it's kind of like the plastic that's in my magnet, so I figured I'd like that, and I would like the flight of the KC AVR. So I went out, played around a disc golf with it already, and it wasn't bad. I liked it. Um, I, the first putt I had was a 30-foot putt, and I sunk it, and I was just like, okay, well, first putt, there you go. <laughs> Let's keep on doing that, and uh, it, it was working well. It was really windy where I was playing, so I wasn't too disappointed when I missed putt, but I ended up playing uh, four down at that course, um, which was, it's an easy course, so I expected that. Um, I was also exhausted, so I wasn't really playing all that well, but... Um, the tournament was great. Um, I appreciate it a lot. They did a great job, Pandemonium. Um, the other disc I bought from uh, the earnings that I got was the Opto XXX. This is a 174 gram disc. Um, I had been looking for an XXX, or actually, I've been looking for a super overstable fairway, and this is the one I finally came to. But I just didn't. Uh, I didn't want to go drive up to the shop up in West Bend, which is like. 45 minutes away to buy one, and I didn't want to buy one online because I didn't have many other discs that I wanted to buy, so I didn't want to wait for the shipping for like two weeks. So I got this, um, not not the color I exactly wanted, but it's not a bad disc. Um, I threw it a few times today, and I, all I can say is, wow, um, it's exactly what I needed. Super overstable, I don't flip it at all. Um, I throw it right where I need to. And one of the major reasons I bought this disc was for forehands. Um, I haven't had the best forehand lately, but as soon as I threw it forehand, I was just like, yep, I think I found one of my favorite forehand discs. Um, this, um, and a few other discs in my bag. Um, and then the other new disc I put in my bag today 
Um, this was the the disc that you got for entering the tournament, the players pack. It's the Estabrook Open Moonshine Enforcer. These are awesome discs. Uh, it's got the rainbow, or not rainbow, um, the American flag stamp. The blue has the uh, stars in it. I think that's just an awesome um, stamp on it. It's got like the the police badge enforcer. It's pretty awesome. And then you see the panda right in the middle. It's for the pandemonium guys who hosted the event. Um, this is uh, 172. For, so for something real overstable, I like max weight. But when I threw this the first time, it's 172. It does not feel 172. When you throw it, it dives so hard to the left. Um, I won't say it's like a stiletto, but it's similar. Um, I was told once you beat them up a little bit, they fly like new destroyers, which I'm kind of excited about because I play destroyers in my bag, and I've been looking for a new super over de overstable destroyer. So I took my old star destroyer out, and this is what's going in the bag instead of it. So I now have um, two more dynamic discs in my bag. Um, I'm starting to like dynamic discs, but I can't find anything that will overtake my rocks. Uh, the Verdict's been doing really good for me. Um, I've been able to whip it out and throw some monster shots with it, super hyzer shots. Um, that's been a great disc. I'm loving the suspect still. Um, but, I mean, most of my discs are in a bun. There's a reason for it because I just love them. This was a pretty short course today. Um, the, the biggest disc I had to take was my Destroyer. Um, I couldn't rip a boss today, but. The destroyer came out because the hole was 355. is a tunnel shot. Um, actually, it was, a, it was kind of like a tunnel to start, and then it opened up afterwards, and it was a big skip shot. So it was straight through. You skipped it, and it would go by the uh, hole. Um, it was super windy. So 355. I wasn't going to throw it, but then I decided at the last minute it would probably be a good idea just to get something out there and easy so I didn't have to really rip like a, an eagle or my St. Pro real hard. So with the wind in my face, I threw it, and it was super stable, and it was flying dead straight, and I was just like, oh no, this isn't going to be there, because it was looking maybe 30, 40 feet to the right of the pin. It comes and dives down a little bit, so it was getting a little close, and that took this awesome skip, and I almost skipped aced it, and I had a 2-inch tap-in for birdie. So that, that was the good way to get my second round going. I started par, birdie, par, birdie, um, and then I had another birdie after that, so that was pretty good. Um, so, for the Estabrook Open 2014, I am alright with how I shot today. Um, even is a decent score. I was hoping to shoot negative 7. Um, I was almost there. If I would have shot um, a negative 3 my first round, I would have been there. Um, but it is what it is. I'm just going to keep on playing. Um, just I'm just getting active in leagues now. And uh, I've got a few more tournaments coming up this summer before I head down to Dallas. So right now I'm just focusing on uh, getting more consistent, throwing good shots, and keeping uh, focused on disc golf and just learning my discs more. I know I know them very well, but I mean I can always learn new shots with them. And I'm working on my forehand a lot. And um, with with my channel, I'm working on getting my demos and uh, my putting, my approaching, my approaches work great today. I only had two missed approaches, which was unfortunate, but I only had two out of probably about ten or a dozen that I needed. Um, I only had two that kind of got away from me, so my approach game was pretty good today. So putting approaches, driving, fairways, you know, all that kind of stuff, that's going to be coming this summer. Um, maybe a tournament prep video. I know I've already kind of done something like that, but maybe preparation is, I don't know, field, field preparation, that's another one I want to do. Um, and then I'm also talking to my friends about getting out to Brown Deer playing around filming. So all that's coming soon, hopefully within the next two months, because um, it is summer now, so I will be able to get into my my bag and into courses more with friends and stuff. So, all right, for today, that's all I got, but I will see you guys soon. Catch you later.